I've spent the last hour googling the name of my hometown, and nothing's there. All of the local schools, all the local restaurants, gone. Even my social media is messed up. I can't find any of my friends online. Hell, I can't find anybody. I I'm actually kind of freaking out about it. Has anyone ever experienced anything like this before? Oh, I don't believe me? Try it yourself. Fulton City High? Gone. Fulton Middle? Gone. Fulton Elementary School? Gone. Fulton City College? Gone. The fucking preschool behind the tire place, and next to that McDonald's which my mom used to take us when we were growing up? Eh, you get the idea. All gone. Thousands of people, dozens of places, and I can't find any information for anybody. It's like we... It's like we disappeared. I can't even reach the cops. I wish that was the only problem. My family and I woke up this morning to a total blackout. Every single house on the block lost power. Uh, it does tend to happen out here in the valley every so often. Often enough that my older brother Mark rigged up his computer to get a connection via the satellite. The two of us are currently crouched beside the generator, desperately trying to get a handle on the past few hours. Of course, my parents are panicking, but they won't say anything. They won't say why, but we have our suspicions. I saw something in the woods last night, right before the power went out, when it was still dark outside. Mark woke me up and pulled me over to his bedside window. He pointed frantically into the trees behind our house. It was raining. The mist made it difficult for my eyes to adjust, but after a moment, something big, we only agree on something big, darted towards the neighbor's back porch, and then a thick branch fell in its wake, and then somebody screamed. My parents rushed into the room right at that moment. I guess they heard the commotion and freaked. Mom beckoned us to get away from the window. I gave in right away because, well, my parents can be kinda scary when we don't listen. But Mark lingered for a little while longer. I didn't see what he saw, but Mark whispered that he saw somebody running. He said it looked like they were running away from something. My father turned off the lights, I found that odd, and pushed my brother aside. He squinted out the window in silence. And then finally, after what felt like an eternity, he concluded that nothing was there, just wind in the trees. And then that's when the power went out. My parents have been acting really weird ever since. During the day, my mom tried to keep us in the kitchen. She made breakfast, lunch, and dinner over the fireplace. She even broke out a board game in the afternoon and we played for a couple of hours. She kept asking about schoolwork or football or baseball or anything but the odd situation that we were in. We tried to change the subject, tried to ask her what was happening outside, but it was no use. She ignored our questions. My father had a wild look in his eyes. Mark and I can't recall anything like it. He kept rushing to check the window every few minutes, and then he would sit down and check his cell phone, and then back to the window, and then back to his phone, like clockwork. Each rotation left him slightly more agitated than the last. The cable didn't work, the internet had been spotty, there was really nothing to do but read a book or play a game. Mark asked to go for a walk before dinner, and I thought my mom might pop the temple out of her forehead. Nobody goes outside, she snapped. There could be live wires on the ground. Mark snorted. Watch your attitude, she barked, and keep the windows closed. I asked why, and she just stared at me with these deadly fearful eyes that made me really uncomfortable. She looked like she wanted to tell me something, but my father answered instead. I didn't even realize that he was listening. Nobody goes outside. I returned to my book without an argument. I found one of my mom's old Stephen King collections and stumbled onto a story about rats in a basement bigger than a man. Time moved a little faster while I read. The walls of my house started to evaporate and it didn't take long for my imagination to disappear down the stairwell in the story, plunging further into the darkness with each step, listening to untold things move around me perilously through the darkness. Somebody knocked on the door at around 10 p.m. After an entire day of endless boredom, I thought that this might finally be salvation. Thank fuck. Maybe a maintenance worker, or maybe a neighbor. Maybe my friend from down the block finally convinced his mother to traverse the minefield of imaginary live wire. I got up from my chair to answer the door, but 
My father sprinted across the room to block me. I don't think I've ever seen him run before, and he put his hand over my mouth. I tried to protest, but he squeezed my arm. He didn't look angry, he looked scared. His eyes were on fire. It grew quiet outside, like, like somebody was listening. One finger over his lip told me to shut up. I looked over to my mom, and I saw her doing the same thing to my brother. He looked like he wanted to cry. The knocking resumed. The pace was pleasant at first. Your typical, formal, but friendly rap-tap-tap. Then a pause. Then... I was confused. Why were they scared? Why would a burglar knock? I thought that this could be somebody who could tell us what was going on, and it annoyed me that my parents were this paranoid. So I got the idea to try and say something anyway. Not... not my best thought. Hell, my father grabbed me by my throat and pushed me against the wall. His sweaty palm slipped against my mouth. He raised one finger to his lips and held it there. My brother whimpered in the corner. The door hinges whined from the pressure of the knocks. My father reached into his pocket, and with the hand that was formerly placed around my neck, I knew that he had a knife in there. And just as soon as it started, the knocking stopped. The house got quiet again, and my father let me go. It's been a few hours since the knocker left. My parents still won't talk to us. My mom's sleeping on the couch, and my dad is sitting in front of the door with a gun across his lap. Can someone, anyone, please tell us what the fuck is happening in Fulton City? I still can't find anything online. We're available through messages and comments as long as our connection holds. I don't think I'll sleep much tonight. It's... it's too quiet.